Welcome back to another video. Yes, as you guys saw about the title, today we are doing a downgrade on Apple A9 devices. We're going to be downgrading to pretty much any iOS version. The process is going to be the exact same. And if you guys are curious, I did make a video on this a couple weeks ago just talking about how this process works. But this video here will be the actual tutorial. It's based on Turtis Brula, which is the downgrade tool. Now, I'm going to be using this on an iPhone SE first generation. It does work on an iPhone 7, but the steps are a little different. I'll do that video in the future if you guys are interested but without further ado let's go ahead and get right into this video now the first thing you'll need of course is a mac computer running mac os 10.12 or higher unfortunately this process does not work for windows but there is a linux tutorial in the description box below as well you'll also need a usb type a to lightning cable unfortunately type c cables will not work so make sure you guys are using the right cable here and of course the iphone you want to downgrade in this case i'm using an iphone se first generation this process also works on apple a9x devices it includes these ipads on the screen that you see here. Now, if you're not sure which chip your iPhone uses, you can also make a Google search just for reference. Um, now, one thing I did want to stress, guys, is that there is a very high chance that once you guys complete this process, iOS 9 is not going to activate. This is a known issue that I'm sure Apple is aware of. With that being said, I do recommend going down to iOS 10 instead if you aren't able to um, activate iOS 9. You know, like some devices activate, some don't. We really don't know why this issue happens. So um, as an alternative option, you guys can go down to iOS 10. The process will be the exact same. This process will also be fully tethered, meaning you'll have to connect your device every single time you turn it on. And this video also assumes that you do not have SHSH blobs so yes this is going to be a true downgrade and this process might take a little while so feel free to grab a drink grab a snack and let's get started now one of the first things you'll need to do is take the serial number of your device and enter it in the website in link number one in the description box it will give us a week of when the phone was approximately manufactured in this case the approximate date if we google it was like july 3rd 2016 and then you can go to apple db here this will also be in the description box and we can download the ios version that we want. In this case, I'm going to download one that came out after July 3rd because anything before will not work. So technically 9.3.3 would work, um, but I ended up going with 9.3.5 because it's newer. And if you run into any issues like this, all you have to do is take out the S from HTTPS and it should download. Now, the next step here is going to be going to the Turtis Marula website, also linked down below, and download the Mac version. I just downloaded the .tar and then once both of those files are saved there. You can just go ahead and unzip that Turtis Mrula folder. We can get rid of the actual zipped Turtis Mrula folder, and then we should have the iOS version and the folder itself. And then we're ready to proceed. Now, next up here is going to be plugging the iPhone or the iPad into the computer using our USB Type-A cable and make sure our computer trusts it. And then we're going to put it into DFU mode by holding the power button and the home button for about eight seconds. Um, I'm obviously doing this as a voiceover, so this was recorded before, but after about eight seconds, let go of the power button and then continuously hold the home button. And if you did the process correctly, your computer should recognize your device in DFU mode. And if it's not for any reason, make sure you guys are using a USB type A cable and not a type C cable. The next step is going to be putting our phone into PO and DFU mode. This is going to be really important for the next few steps. Um, now just open up terminal as normal. And I know this looks a little advanced, but I promise you guys is going to be really simple but just type in cd space and then drag that turtis marula folder into terminal and just hit enter nothing is going to happen head on over to the third link and then copy and paste exactly as you guys see again nothing will happen and then copy and paste once again exactly as you guys see and then go ahead and paste that and then look at this the program is going to tell us that it can't open a file because it's not verified that is completely normal just open up the turtis marula folder head on over into bin and then into lib and then we'll actually see the file that it's referencing and then just right click on it and open this is kind of going to force the file to open you might have to log in as well and once that's done you can continue with the same exact command since it's already going to be copied and pasted we can just paste it again and once you actually hit enter your phone should be in pwn dfu mode the screen's going to say black nothing's going to happen in most cases but um, it should say that it is in Pwn DFU mode. Now the next step is going to be getting the SHC block. So copy and paste exactly as you guys see. Um, you can end at the K over here. Make sure you don't copy the IPSW portion of this command. But once you paste it, just hit space and then copy and drag over 
that IPSW. I don't know why I said copy, but just drag over that IPSW and do exactly as you guys see. Um, and then it's going to say, ask us to enter one and then literally just type in the number one, hit enter. And this is essentially going to put your phone into like this weird mode. You're going to see the checkmate screen pop up. This is completely normal. Um, so just let the phone do its thing. And after a little while, the phone is going to restart. But when it restarts, it's going to go straight into recovery mode. So I'll show you guys what this looks like, just like that. And when this happens, you need to go ahead and put the phone back into DFU mode by holding the power button and the home button for about eight seconds. And then, you know, after around eight seconds, let go, continue holding the home button and the phone should be in DFU mode. Now the next step is going to be getting the PTE block. So once again, we need to put our phone into Pwn DFU mode exactly as you guys see. So when you guys do that, um, it might even open up like the like the iTunes thing. And so once it says it's in Pwn DFU mode, then we can move on to the next line of text here. And we're just gonna copy and paste this up to SHC block. So don't copy and paste anything that has square brackets surrounded by it. So just copy and paste exactly as you guys see. And then once that's pasted, hit space, and then open up the Turtis Marula folder, and you're actually gonna notice that there's a new file in the block folder. So we actually need to drag this file directly into terminal, and then hit space, and then drag the IPSW, in this case, iOS 9.3.5, and then just hit enter. And then once we do that, the program should ask us once again if we want to enter in that number one. That's completely normal, just hit number one, and then hit enter and the program is going to do its thing in the background so just give it some time after a little while your iPhone should start up and once again you're going to see that checkmate screen and as you guys might have already guessed it yes the phone is going to go into recovery mode and we'll need to once again put it into DFU mode I know this process is a little annoying but this is required because this process is technically a tethered downgrade now once we're in DFU mode once again we're going to have to put it into Pwn DFU mode by copying and pasting this same line of command as you guys see and this is going to go ahead and do some stuff on the device but it should be detected in Pwn DFU mode. Next step here is once again running the next line of code up to PTE block. Make sure not to copy and paste anything that's inside square brackets but now instead we're going to do space and go back into the Turtis Marula folder and go into block and now you'll notice there's a new file in there. This is the PTE block file and simply drag that one into the terminal uh, line right there and then hit space and then we're just going to go ahead and drag that IPSW as well. Oh, we missed it there for a sec. There we go. Um, and then hit enter and then once again guys we're going to need to press one and then hit enter and this is where all the magic is going to happen. The device is officially going to restore to iOS 9. So you see how this time it didn't go to the recovery screen, but instead it went to the progress bar. And this is really good sign um, that the process is working. So just let the program do its thing. This process I think is gonna take the longest. I think it took like three or four minutes for me. So just let the device do its thing. But once it's done, it will be in recovery mode. And yep, as you guys guessed it, you gotta put it into DFU mode once again. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to boot into iOS 9, whether it's the first time you're booting or if your device turned off and you need to reboot it. Now, simply, of course, you know, put your device into DFU mode and then open up a fresh terminal window, CD, space, and then drag that Turtis Marula folder. Um, and then once you're in that folder, we just wanna go to the very last step here and we wanna copy and paste this command. Um, so make sure we don't copy and paste the part that's in square brackets, um, but hit space go into block and then simply drag over that PTE block file and then hit enter. And then your device is gonna attempt to be placed into Pwn DFU mode, but you guys can see here, the process actually stopped and this was an error. So I actually wanted to show you guys this error on purpose because this does happen. And if it does, simply just take your cable out of your phone and back on the computer here, nothing is happening and then literally just terminate that um, terminal command and open up a brand new terminal window. I don't know if this is the official process, but this is what worked for me. So again, CD into that folder, copy and paste that, and then hit space, and then of course drag that file. And then you guys can see here, it's gonna say waiting for our device. And then when it's waiting, then plug it back into the computer and hopefully it works. And I think it did. 
perfect. So as long as we see sent boot UX, that means the process was successful. Um, this process, actually, I had to do it like four times. Um, I didn't record that portion of it, but you guys can see that errors do happen, and this process is very finicky. It's very trial and error-like, so it does take a little patience, but once you're booted in, you can officially set up or use iOS 9 or whichever iOS version you guys are using. And I just wanna show you guys here that iOS 9 does not activate on this device. Now, I do recommend you guys complain to Apple because I guess the more complaints they get, maybe this issue will be fixed. But for now, some devices just cannot activate, which is a little annoying, but anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did want to, you know, quickly mention a quick note about privacy. Please do not store any important information. This phone is literally running on like an exploited SCP, which is like very dangerous. And I would not log into any Apple IDs or store my 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 touch ID credentials or anything like that. Use this phone as if you were using a phone at an Apple store. Like you wouldn't store any personal information on there. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, comment them down below. Feel free to join my Discord as well. I'll have that link down below as well. I'm doing like a little soft launch here. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.